to another TechMinds video. Now in this video, we'll take a look at a new handheld transceiver called the TalkPort A36 Plus. Now this neat little transceiver weighs only 210 grams, so it's a great little radio to throw in your backpack on days out. The power output of this handheld, according to the specifications, has a maximum output of 5 watts. Nice to see the specs detailing a realistic value, unlike others we've seen in the past. Of course, later in the video, I'll measure the power output on my power meter. Now, the TalkPod 836 also has an extensive frequency coverage, with many of the ham radio bands covered within VHF and UHF. As well as having broadcast FM receive support, the A36 from TalkPod also covers the airband with AM. Now, I'll demonstrate receiving airband shortly. In the box, we find the essentials such as an antenna battery and charger. Now this particular model can either be charged via a desktop charger available separately or using the supplied USB-C cable which plugs directly into the bottom of the battery. An LED indicator on the battery shows the charging state along with when the battery is fully charged. The battery label also shows a more realistic capacity of 1500 milliamp hour which I think is achievable with a light iron battery of this size. The radio itself does have a nice solid feel and with the labelled keypad on the front makes it really easy to use. Now on the left side of the radio hosts the main PTT button along with two programmable function buttons. Now these are defaulted to either show the broadcast FM radio band and the other shows a pre-programmed selection of weather frequencies. Of course this feature is more suited for those in the USA. On the right side of the radio, we find a little flap, which reveals a speaker mic socket. This also acts as a programming port when used with a compatible programming cable. In fact, I use the multi-plug programming cable, which I've showed in previous videos, so I didn't need a specific cable. On the top of the radio, we have the antenna connection, an orange emergency button, which actually works, and an on and off switch, which also acts as the main volume control. Now when you first power on the TalkPod A36, you'll notice a loading graphic, although it's quite brief, but this can be changed using software, so you can personalize your radio. Now I'll show you how to do that later when we cover the software. Using software to program the radio is not essential, as most functions and features can be programmed through the radio's menu interface, although having the software does make it easier to set up especially if you're using multiple A36 radios with different ID numbers. The software link will be provided on the product page listed in the video description if you need it. Something which I haven't spoken about yet is the display. Although you can see a reflection of my face, the screen is extremely good. I really do like these black background screens. I think they make the radio look a bit more professional and modern. The screen itself is full colour and has a really nice resolution. I'm sure the camera does not really do this screen justice. Now the emergency button on the top does work really well and although I do not have another radio to demonstrate this, when activated the radio will emit an alarm from its speaker and also transmit its ID number to alert other program radios there is an emergency. Being an analog only radio, the programming software is extremely simple to use. Each channel has fields for RX and TX frequency, CTCSS for both receive and transmit, along with memory name and power levels. The optional feature window allows the user to configure the radio to their needs, such as voice prompt, squelch level, backlight settings and band control, along with many other settings. The import image tool within the software allows the user to import a 128 by 128 color bitmap image, which can then be sent to the radio. Every time the radio is turned on, the new image will be displayed on the screen, making the radio more personalized for you, your club or your business. After programming, memory names will now be shown on the screen. With two on-screen VFOs, you can have one showing memories and the other as a standard VFO 
where you can either type the desired frequency in via the keypad or use the arrow buttons to change frequency. Now the frequency step can be changed within the menu system to change it to like 12.5, 6.25, etc, etc. Now as mentioned before, the TalkPort A36 covers airband reception. So for this test, I connected my outside antenna, which is a dual bank collinear on the roof of the house. So using my SDR Play RSPDX, I'm going to now record my audio transmitting live from the A36 Plus radio and then being received on 70 centimeters to test the audio quality. This is M0 DQW Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey testing the TalkPod A36 Plus handheld transceiver. This is M0 DQW testing the TalkPod A36 Plus handheld transceiver for audio. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4, over. Now let's take a look at power output. So on 2 meters at 145.5 megahertz and on high power, we see a surprising output of just over 7.5 watts. That's nice to see a radio that has been underrated in the specifications. However, on 70 centimeters at 435 megahertz, we see an output of around 4 watts. And if we go up to 446 megahertz, we see an RF output of around 3.5 watts. If we then jump down to 225 megahertz, we see an output of 3.8 watts. And if we jump down further to 175 megahertz, we see an output of around 3.8 watts also. So output power is best on 2 meters, with that surprising result of nearly 8 watts. Now let's take a quick look at any nasty spurious signals. Here I'm just using a small antenna on my tiny SA Ultra and transmitting in the middle of the 2 meter handband, and it looks quite clean. If we then jump up to the middle of the 70 centimeter handband and perform the same test, we also see a fairly clean signal. The little peak that keeps appearing just above the main transmission signal is actually another transmission coming from elsewhere, as when I dekey the A36, the signal is still apparent. So there we go, guys, that's the TalkPod A36 Plus handheld transceiver which covers quite a few bands including airband and broadcast fm let me know what you think of this radio down in the comments below so far so good in my opinion definitely better than some of the other handhelds that i've reviewed in the past now i've never heard of TalkPod before but it does look like they do a few different types of products including network radios if you've heard of them before or even seen these products but badged as a different make or model, then also let me know in the link below. I'll be interested to see if these are OEM'd. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.